What's up, people, 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 what's up? I uh, finally back online to where I could do my video blogs and tell y'all about what's going on in my life as if any of you cared. But the great thing about you guys not caring is that I don't care if you don't care. Because if you do, then you're here to see it anyway. You know what I'm saying? In either event, uh, I want to tell you guys about my great new toy that I just bought. It is the Sony Alpha 700 uh, digital steel camera, digital SLR, SLR, whatever you want to call it. It is an awesome, awesome camera. And quick, quick little story, because I've had it for about a couple of months now. And I just really got a chance to kind of use it in a professional setting. Uh, I was invited the other night, uh, is it Friday? Yeah, last night. Anyway, I was invited last night to go shoot a fashion show. Well, I was invited last night to a fashion show. And I was going to see a friend of mine do her little fashion thing, a little modeling thing. Off the chain, by the way, you know, once I upload the pictures, y'all gonna see, it's hot. Uh, but I was invited to go to this fashion show. And I was, you know, I was there with my camera because I'm gonna take pictures of her for her, you know, to be able to use in her portfolio or whatever. And, it so happened that I saw another guy with a camera similar to mine with a longer lens. And so I'm like, you know, I'm telling my godmother, like, you know, I'm going wherever that dude is going to take his pictures. That's where I'm going because I want to get either similar or better pictures than what he got. So I'm going to look at what he's doing and then I'm going to model my position after where he at. Then I'm going to just take my own pictures because they got their own flavor. And so I go over by where he was. And I, you know, started taking pictures just to kind of get my lighting situation straight to see what my exposure was, set my ISO and my, you know, I do my manual white balance and things of that, that sort and that nature. And anyway, so I do, you know, set all my settings and get everything set up and the guy walks up on me. And, you know, I don't know if you know, like, the, uh, the type of neighborhood that uh, I work in, but this, this place where I was at the fashion show is right around my work neighborhood, which is mostly a predominantly homosexual neighborhood. So, you know, you kind of you get weary of, you know, dudes walking up behind you, you know what I'm saying, when you're leaning up on shit, because then you don't want to have to check him, you know what I'm saying. So, he walked up, you know, behind me and was like, excuse me, are you taking pictures? And I was like, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He asked me, are you taking pictures for the entire thing? And I was like, well, no, I'm just taking pictures for a friend of mine. And he was like, well, I'm one of the designers. And, you know, you could just go ahead and take pictures for the entire thing. And then me and the other designer that has models coming out, too, will pay you to do it. And so I'm like, OK, first of all, I damn near didn't even go. Second of all, I damn show sure wasn't going to take more than a couple of pictures that I needed to take, get some of myself and then move on. And third, if you're going to pay me, God damn it, I'm going to do it. So that's what I did. And I ended up shooting the entire thing and, you know, getting the, the business information from the uh, designer and uh, got paid for going to a fashion show that I almost didn't even want to go to. So that was pretty cool. But I ran into a couple of issues while I was shooting. And this is an amateur photographer for you that doesn't really know his camera. On this camera, there is a focus set right here on the bottom, if you can see that. You know, there's a focus set right there where you can switch it from autofocus with shutter, autofocus, you know, you know, all the other autofocus settings and the custom setting. And then you can switch it to manual, which is what I was trying to do, because what was happening was, because it was such a low light situation in there, they didn't have it lit, the catwalk wasn't even lit very well. Uh, when I had my flash up, because I don't have my professional flash yet, because I haven't yet invested in that, the camera costs quite a bit. So I had my flash up and it would take too long to kind of reboot after I would take the first picture. So I would get the, you know, the chick coming out, clack it, clack it. And then as soon as she gets to walking, you know, and I'm trying to get like action shots, her walking and everything, uh, it won't take the picture. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out like why it's not focusing. And I'm going through my menu and trying to fix my autofocus. I'm taking all the autofocus options off. I'm taking everything I'm turning everything to manual that I can find to turn a manual and it's still doing the same thing 
So just about 15 minutes ago, I'm sitting in a room and I pick up my camera and I'm like, you know, uh, what's this little tab up front? And I look at the, the thing and I automatically see the MF, which is manual focus. And I'm like, I wanted to punch myself in the face because I could have really not only got a lot more money because I was only able to submit uh, a few of the photos that I took because they're the only ones that really came out halfway decent. But I wouldn't have looked like such a jackass with him looking at me across the room while I'm taking my pictures and there's no flash going because I wasn't getting the pictures taken because I didn't know how to set my own goddamn manual focus. So that's my little story about that camera. But it's an awesome camera. Now that I know how to use the manual focus, I think I'll be much better for it. Uh, and that's about it for that story. I just want to tell you guys about my new toy. Um, for you, those of you who know me well, you know that I was riding a bus for a real long time. Had my bus pass, get my month pass. And, you know, with, with my job that I have, I was getting the bus passes for half off. So I really didn't feel so bad. So you're talking about 22 bucks for a month. And you can go anywhere in town. You know what I'm saying? But the problem was, with the nature of the work that I do, and what I went to school for, I, uh, I do freelance work. So I have to be able to get out on my own and go different places and get to where the work is. Whether it's working with the Angels, I got to go to the other side of town to Tempe. If it's working with the Cardinals, I got to go over to Glendale. If it's working with the Suns, it's downtown. If it's working with the Mercury, it's downtown. You know, and things of that sort. And, and be able to take up gigs in Vegas when opportunities present, present themselves. And in L.A. and New Mexico where they're starting to shoot a lot more movies, which is going to be awesome for the next couple of years in this area. Because there will be a lot more work for freelance artists just like myself. Um, but yeah, you have to be able to get around. So the week before last, I think, right before I came to Chicago, I came to Chicago for like six days. Right before I came to Chicago, I went and I actually bought a car. Now, I got screwed for it. I'm not going to tell you guys how much, but just know that I got screwed. But it's a great car. I like it. I mean, it's, it's four wheels. It's got an engine, uh, some windows, uh... Everything seems to be in good working condition. It's shiny. And it gets me from point A to point B. And that's all that really mattered because before, getting from point A to point B was like an hour and a half commute. Now getting from point A to point B is like 15 minutes. That's huge, especially when it's like 120 degrees every goddamn day out here. And I'm telling you, it is fucking hot. Excuse my language for the Christians that are watching this. It is fucking hot. And it is just something... I just, whew, I'm just so happy to be out of it for the most part. Cause like you still get in your car and it's like a fucking inferno. But once the AC gets blowing and you get to rolling, you just feel like a million bucks just to have AC, to have the luxury of having your own AC is a blessing in itself. And I'm just so glad to be off the bus full time. I still ride it part time because gas prices are crazy. Now I got a question for my peoples in Chicago. What is the gas prices right now? Because out here, uh, I just checked today, and it's three, 341, 343, 345, around the 340s in some places. But I want to know what the gas prices are in Chicago so I can compare and contrast and hopefully not feel so bad for paying the prices that I'm paying. So not to knock you guys, but I hope the prices are a lot higher out there still. I know my friend Juana told me the other day, gas prices in the morning what, $4.39? $4.39 for a gallon of gas. Remember back in the day when you used to be able to go to the gas station and you'd be like, uh, let me get five on pump one. And that'd take you about to a quarter of a tank. Nah, not no more. Gas prices are out of fucking control. But I want y'all uh, in Chicago and pretty much in any other area for my friends who, who watch, watch my uh, video blogs when I get the chance to do them. But I want y'all to let me know, man, what are the gas prices in y'all area? Because either I want to feel bad because my gas prices are higher than yours, and then I have something to bitch and complain about, then we got more material to talk about next week. Or, you know, uh, I want to feel good because my gas prices are way lower than yours, and I have something to rejoice about. And then we still have something to talk about next week. Anyway, you get where I'm going with this. I need to know the gas prices everywhere in the country, so people hit me up. Uh, and I'm going to be back with you maybe in a couple of days, maybe next week, maybe a month from now. And, you know, leave comments and questions if you want to. I'm open to answer questions. I, you know, I, I'm a pretty open guy. 
you know, I'm not going to sit here and uh, get in front of a camera and be like, hey, I'm not going to tell you guys anything. This is the whole point. I like talking to you, even when I can't talk to you, you know, because I move around the country so damn much that I really don't even see any of my friends, let alone my family. And I miss my mama like crazy, which was awesome to see her when I went to Chicago this week. So that was cool. And I got to see my brothers and my sister and all my nieces and nephews. And it was great. We had the family reunion. It was awesome. I love y'all. If y'all watching this too. Um, and I got to see, you know, two of my best friends, you know, Leanna and Juan. And uh, although we tend to give each other headaches sometimes, we still stick it out through thick and through thin, thicker times more lately. Uh, but yeah, just hit me up with questions, comments, concerns. Uh, maybe you don't like my V-neck shirt choice. Um, I also wear flip-flops for those of you in Chicago who played me when I came out there. You know, I apologize, but Air Force Ones really can't do it for me in this hot-ass weather. So flip-flops is where it's at for me right now and slip-ons. So feel free to hit me up. I'm going to holler at y'all next week. Peace.